What is going on, y'all? This is Patrick Blackwood in the building. Man, today is another story time. If you haven't subscribed to my main channel, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. Oh, man, what can I say? We're a couple of days away from game week, and we go against Bruno Alligators. I am excited. Don't know what to expect. Uh, I've been training my butt off. Really been taking this week on preparing myself mentally, seeing myself visually making plays. Uh, yesterday, I had my practice. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm paused. My practice for game week, which was very exciting, man. Like, everything was firing all cylinders, man. I, I went to the chiropractor. I took care of my body. Didn't want to lift any weights. I just wanted to make sure my body was in tune. I want to make sure that all the stuff that I was preparing to do, like the collisions, making sure my right hip was going, firing all cylinders. And the reason why I'm talking about my right hip or my left hip, I go to the chiropractor because I run my my power leg is my right leg, right? So for me to fire out with the right hip, I wasn't getting enough power out of my right leg because I'm over overusing my right leg. So it's like a track star. You get into your track position and to your stance and you find out which leg is your your faster leg to really push out to run to run faster um that's the reason why i've been going to dr t dr t been working on my body for the past two years and keep me in the optimal level since i've been here in czech republic it's been hard finding me a chiropractor especially in alava um i've been doing a lot of research i the team have a masseuse but he wouldn't take me until May. I don't know how that works. I feel like I got side swiped there with that, you know? So I had to do enough research. Uh, thank God that I went to the gym called the Fit People, which the team is sponsored by that gym, which we get a free M membership. And the owner actually told me like, hey, uh, I know what you're looking for. And he speaks decent english you know so me listen to him and he showed me the instagram and everything it was just this lady that actually does like chiropractor she does like scar tissue cupping and everything else so i had my first appointment yesterday and she doesn't speak any english i have to have my president with me to translate everything to her so she can understand what I need for my body, what kind of what kind of treatment I need for my body, and how can I actually get everything to be working in all cylinders. Now, she was trying to do the the whole chiropractor thing. No, <laughs> it it didn't work out. So. I'm glad that she figured that because I'm a regular, I'm an athlete. So you're going to need more pressure. That's the reason why I like dealing with men and like chiropractors, stretching and all that stuff because they have enough strength to actually do the adjustment and the alignment and then stretching you. The one cool thing I'll give her for and I give her a 6.5 out of the 10 that she used the scraping, the utensil to break out the scar tissue and then using the, the new advanced cupping that is like heated and it has like all these suctions and all that stuff, which I, I want to show y'all, but I'm also sure I'm not, I'm not going to do that, uh, homie naked. But uh, so she used the scar tissue the utensil break all the scar tissue down and everything that she put the heating cupping in which it was very brilliant very smart because dr she doesn't do that he just stretched me 
And if I say like, hey, my, my hamstring's really tight, then he used this metal roller. You know how like we have a foam roller? There's a metal foam, like a metal roller itself and he'll roll out my hamstring. And I will tell you, my hamstring is very sensitive because it's so hard to target a hamstring. And when you roll them bad boys out, some things hurt. So from her, from her strategy of targeting my hamstrings and my IT bands and the quads and the unique strategy, strategic strategy that she uses by using the utensil of breaking down the scar tissue that all the damage that I've done from working out, all the damage that I've done from training camp, all the damage from running from previously, she break it down for about 15 minutes. And don't get me wrong, that that there is like insanely, it's, it's, it's a different sensation feeling. I don't wanna say it's painful, I will give it a four out of the 10. It's not painful. Maybe for you guys, it might be six out of 10, but it's four out of the 10. And then she uh, massage it out, like to loosen that attention. And then she put the heating cupping onto that muscle that is feeling that tension. And then and then once you see the cupping, it, it braids your skin itself like this, like it's pinching. Then you see like the red mark like the blood is circulating onto your skin. So you can actually start mobilizing uh, that muscle or that small muscle group. So I have one in my lower back, one on my hip, one on my IT bands, one on my quad, one on the hamstring. Um, and trust me, when she did the scar tissue, when she used the scar tissue and rub everything out, man, and then she used the cupping and then she massaged it. And then, oh, and she used the Theragun. That's what I forgot. She used the Theragun. And then when she used the Theragun, I, I didn't have no feeling in none of those sections of my body. The hip, the glute, the hamstrings, the quad, the IT bands. By her doing the scar tissue, like removing all the scar tissue and doing all that and then using the Theragun, there was no feeling like absolutely no feeling like you, i i couldn't even move i couldn't i couldn't even say it, it shit hurts or anything like that it's just like there's no feeling so i took my behind home relaxed a little bit just to wind down decompress before i had to go to training and i was like okay she told my president that like yo you should rest the whole day but i was like yo train's at 7 30 it's like 11 11 45 i got home I think that's enough rest time period. That's like six, six to seven hours of rest time period. If I'm not mistaken, it's like I, I got practice at, at nighttime. So I'm like, if I'm going here early in the morning, why can I not train during the night? So got the training early that night. My body felt great. I feel like I was moving much faster after rejuvenated and I believe like if you don't take care of your body, especially when you're doing like contact sports or if you're doing soccer or anything like that, or overall, if you're not doing anything like that, you can feel a big difference in your body. And I felt a big difference in my body, the way I was moving, the more I was shifting. I, I can feel like I was gathering more power off of my right and my left leg, because my left leg is great, because I don't use my left leg as much. Um, that's my power leg. So that's that's my leg that will lead and gets me where I need to go. But my right leg is the one I overuse because that's where I build my acceleration from. So doing that actually really worked, man. Like honestly, I felt better by how I was running my routes, how I was taking the hand off everything so it just felt real natural feel real smooth and taking care of my body was the key man like i needed that big time big time big time so i went to practice i did my thing man like i had four or five carries and i about three out of the five straight touchdowns <laughs> 
three touchdowns, yo. I was moving. I felt I was moving. It, it just felt great. Like, I was being very shifty. One thing about me, I love, I trust my eyes because my eyes will tell me everything. And I've been learning that from the Running Back Academy. Shout out to the Running Back Academy. Coach Seymour is like one of the best running back coach, hands down. If you have not take a look at the Running Back Academy or you haven't trained with Coach Seymour, he actually has a helpful app that you can actually use and learn about his drills. Everything is realistic, which you will see inside the game. In the NFL play, he trained a lot of NFL players, a lot of rookies from the NFL, a lot of pros that has did five, 10 years in the NFL. So definitely take a look at that. It's very been helpful for me. I've been working with him for almost eight years of my life. And never, I see the progression of my, my level of my awareness, my level of just a complete level of understanding my position as a running back. So shout out to Coach Jerry, because without him, I wouldn't be here today doing my thing. And yeah, so five out of the five out of the three, three out of the five was straight touchdown. That's which is really good. That's sixty percent. Uh three of them was straight to the house. <laughs> straight to the house. Like once I reach the second level, it's, I'm there, like I'm taking off. There ain't nobody ain't gonna stop me. How I see the field, uh the way how I read defensive line, reading linebackers, is I'm on a whole different level, man. So I just felt great. And then sooner enough, it's game time. And I can't wait to have you guys with me for game time. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, y'all, you will be behind the scene of game time. I'll see you then. Love.